Oh, you redemption podcast, big speaker. Hey, your boy G White, man. Let's get into it. What are we talking about today? Man, we got some good topics, man. But, another good you know, topic. Another good one. That's what I was gonna say. We got all the all the topics are some heat, but another good topic. Saying? Another good one. Another good one that's gonna resonate with somebody somewhere. Um, we can relate to it, somebody can relate to it. I'm looking forward to talking about it, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? What we got going on. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump into the hour you moments. Yep. Can't forget that. And the, can't forget the hour you moments. Hour you moments be one of them. Uh, I'll start it off. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, bro. My hour you moment for today, money doesn't make you more or less of a person. When people like typically get money is it's either when people get money or when they don't have money you get two different spectrums of a person so you can take the same exact person right mm -hmm. and put that person in a poor state of mind they have no money that person is gonna be he might be very humbling he might be discouraged he might just be like down and out or he might be just like, man, I'm, I got to go get it. I'm going to go get it right now. Right. Vice versa. You could put that same person in a rich state of mind. Person is he got money and now he like, yeah, yeah. Like I own this. This, this me. Like, yeah. don't talk to me about money. I got that. Like, he just cocky, real cocky. Like nobody can touch him. Like nobody's supposed to be in his space. Nobody, like, don't disrespect me. You know who you're talking to right now? Like that's you know what I'm saying. And again, money doesn't make you more or less of a person. Stop letting money dictate who you are. The money is just something that you have. It it doesn't change. It shouldn't change your personality. It shouldn't change you. But unfortunately, in real life, when people get the money, when they get the bag, they're not the same person. No. And the thing is, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna start where right where you just stopped at, because reality is when you when you obtain more in life, whether it's money, knowledge, experience, you're not the same person. Okay. Right. Some people, I ain't gonna lie, and I ain't gonna cap for the for 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 the fam out there. Some people do change for the worse. Some people do. Oh, yeah. Some, some people let it go to their head. They get the acting all weird oh, yeah. and funny or whatever else. Um, But let's flip it on the spectrum of people to think that people going to bust their butts, earn themselves something, get themselves to a higher stature, and to be the, the exact same, that's almost impossible to do. Because they had to do something different to get to that point. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? So you know, um, it, it it it. I don't. I look at relationships and friendships and people. And me and you talk about it all the time. How I don't talk about money because I just don't for my own reasons. Some are healthy. Some are not healthy. Right. It just becomes like who you know certain situations in family and whatever else that'll make you feel some type of way about it. But also I will say that one of the reading, one of the leading things is because I don't determine my friendships, family, or love I have from a person based upon what you got in your bank account. Yeah. I don't, I don't, it never comes up. I promise you, you could be around me years and we never talk about money. Yeah. We never going to talk about what you got in your account. And I got in my account we never going to talk about none of that because what does it matter? Because if we in the same space, then we you've afforded that. I've afforded to be able to do that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. If we go out of town and you able to afford to come out of town and we sit there and join each other out of town, what do I care? What does it matter to me what you have in your bank account while we out of town? It don't matter, right? We enjoying this memory right here, this moment right here. Yeah. I don't measure a man, a woman, friend success based upon what you got in your bank account i i, I basically i do base it off of other principles though if i'm gonna have you around me but what's in your bank account how much money you make a year and all that that don't come into play i got friends that make millions people that i consider friends that make millions 
And also got people that don't even, that I consider friends that I love that don't even have a job. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even have a job. So, I mean, nah, it, it, that don't matter. That don't matter. Now, what you stand on as a person, what you show me as a person, how we vibe and respect each other and love on each other, that's the stuff that matter to me, man. Um, but don't feel no type of way for me either, right? So I'm not going to do that either, though. So I don't put people in the position. I never, you know, one thing, and I and I know this is your, your moment, but I'm going to say this. Look, one thing that I've never really got into, bro, that I've seen people do is, uh, like, post on a computer, like, they pay stubs and um, <laughs> <laughs> stuff like that. I don't like, do that. I don't do that. I, I never, because look, because look, 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 look. I look at it like this. I look at it like this. And I know they happy for themselves. People don't post a pay stub unless they happy for themselves. You get what I'm saying? You ain't dark and depressed. No, you post a pay stub. Right, they right, happy. right. So what I'm saying to you is you put yourself at a high risk when you do stuff like that of somebody. So look, let's say you bust your butt. You proud of yourself. You happy yourself. You post your pay stub. Okay. Let's say I make four times more than you. Yeah. <laughs> and since you post yours, I'm going to post mine. Then how you gonna feel? You gonna feel yeah? You gonna feel like little, little, real, yeah. You ain't gonna be as proud of yourself as you was once before. But you kind of set yourself up for it by doing that. Like I tell people all the time, be be happy for what you got. Be blessed in the way that you've been blessed, and how the Lord done blessed you, or whatever else. Don't worry about that. And don't put yourself out there like that because there's always gonna be somebody that makes more than you and less than you. Don't base your success on that money like that like you know what i'm saying like don't don't do that that's it's a money like don't do that that's a bad practice yeah. to have that's all i was getting at with that so you hit home with that one bro yeah so let's get into my hour you moment my hour you moment is make time to celebrate yourself um uh, like anything and everything we talk about this is something that i constantly me personally struggle with mm -hmm. um a lot of go-getters struggle with um, a lot of people that are transitioning in their lives struggle with. Um, maybe you weren't a parent last year, but maybe y'all had a kid, a couple done had a kid over the past year now, and y'all do going through that, you know, getting up throughout the night. You know what I'm saying? We both parents right here. So we know what it's like. You yep. get what I'm saying? No sleep, yep. um, random the sleep schedule all screwed up. You know, that's a transition in life elbowing each other who time to get up it your time to get up i got up the last time i got up with him last time like all that you know what i'm saying and i know a lot of people yep. out there going through that you know what i'm saying like 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 i talked to a friend recently and it was their birthday and i'm like so what are you gonna do for your birthday and she was saying like this year i'm gonna make more time for myself you know i make time Facts. for <laughs> like i make time for this i make time for that i make time for him i make time for our child i make time I'm going to make time for myself. For myself. That's real talk because look, look, bro. I tell all the time. I can't be the person that I am if I'm not happy with me. So I can't be good to y'all or anybody else in this world if I don't like me, if I'm not happy with me, yep. if I'm not fulfilling some of the things that I, that motivate me to be the guy that y'all yeah. fell in love with. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, that's why you'll see me. People, yeah. people, people may misconstrue it, but you'll see me take a family trip. You see, we'll link up with the guys, like, or I'll yep. come out there, whatever else. But I, I have this balance of it all. And I think that balance is necessary. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell Alex in a minute, take off, go, go visit your family in New York. You yep. know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Your cousin don't want to do that. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like we was in Brooklyn last year. I told her, like, okay, your cousin, I could tell they want to hang out late. Like, hang out with each other because they don't see each other no more. So we was in Brooklyn. I said, hey, I'm going back to the Airbnb with the kids. You can take the mm -hmm. rental. Just, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just be at the Airbnb with the kids because you need that. Yeah. You need that. You need yeah. that balance. Yeah. So that, look, so that when we somewhere, when it's me and my family or something, don't play crazy because it's time for me to have fun. You need that balance, man. For all the grinders and the hustlers out there, the parents that are transitioning, the the the, the, the young adults, you know what I'm saying? That's trying to figure out their way in this life and find that balance between being a mom, dad, being a husband, wife, and still yeah. being happy. I feel like you, we all need to make time to 
celebrate ourselves to, yep. you know what I mean? That way we don't put all that on our partners to where it's solely on them to keep us happy. Yep. Because that ain't fair either. You get what I'm saying? Like, I got to be happy with me. I can't put that all on you to be 100% like yep. my determining factor on my happiness. But you got to let me do my thing too. And I'm going to let you do your thing and we're going to do our thing together. So um, make time to celebrate yourself. I don't care if you take yourself out to, you know what I mean? Like the other day I called you. You was getting your, I'm putting you out there. You was getting your nails done. Yep. I, I was and, getting a pedicure and a manicure. And look, <laughs> and look, 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 look. You know, I'm yes, a silly indeed, dude. I keep them fresh. I said, hey, I ain't got no joke for it. No. I said, I'm behind schedule on it. Yep. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I ain't trying to be funny. I said, I'm behind schedule on it. Like, yep. that's necessary. I say, you See, just by yourself. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead. That's the thing. That's the thing, though, about this. It's like, I don't know why that's the thing about men. Like, you're supposed to keep your nails clean. You know what I'm saying? I keep mine clean and buffed. <laughs> I ain't out here putting color on my. I ain't. Nah, when we they ain't finish, on that. When they finish clean, cleaning me up and uh, get my feet together, they ain't putting no uh, polish in no, no like, <laughs> no like foam between my toes. They ain't doing that. You understand what I'm saying? But, but you I'm grooming saying your, is, you groom yourself and it's like a massage. You know, you, you get a massage after you get this done too. That's the thing. You have to make time for yourself. Like those are celebra celebratory events for myself that I can go and relax. You know, doing things like go to the, go get a mas uh, massage, you know, getting your hands clean, getting your feet clean. You know, the, that's why men like go to barbershop. You know what I'm saying? Barbershop. That's it's it ain't just a haircut. Women, it ain't just a haircut when you go in that barbershop. It's like a, a frat, a mini frat in there. Camaraderie around amongst everybody. Things getting talked about. It's just like that setting. So you better make time for yourself to celebrate whoever you are, because you tend to get so lost in the sauce and the jobs and kids and handling this and that that you kind of like don't have time to come up for air yeah. and if you don't celebrate yourself then you hold it all in you get more frustrated and you don't understand how to cope with just being calm within yourself so yeah I definitely sure. go yeah Everybody out there, make time for yourself. You can't love on nobody unless you love yourself. You can't be happy with nobody else unless you're happy for yourself. And that's the how you moments for the day. So without further ado, bro, uh, let's get into it. That's a bet. I hope you're ready. Let's go. Let's go. The topic is staying grounded, mm. navigating the challenges of remaining humble, as they mm. say. Humble. Right, as they say. Um, as they say. Humble, humble. You hey, know no, what we're talking hold on, about. They say humble in Texas, fool. Yeah, Everybody that's what else. I said. We call it humble. That's why I said I, I pronounced yeah. them both. I said right. Humble, <laughs> and I said, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, and I'm gonna let you take off on it first. And uh, but I'm just saying, like, this is this is tough. This is a tough one if for well, anybody I, who got success. I, I really like these tough conversations because not only does it sharpen us, it sharpens like minded individuals because they're gonna be like, I know exactly what they're talking about. I know exactly what they talking about. It is tough. It is so tough. And at times, to be honest with you, and I'm going to let you take off, bro, but at times, being humble by definition of what the people around you may tell you is what by humble, <laughs> you'll dim your light. Yeah. And, and you'll, you'll be in a weird space. I've fallen victim of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got... Like some stuff coming up, like me and you talked about with, you know what I'm saying, the um, 
being recognized for an award and being nominated into a society and stuff. And Alex had to text me earlier. It's crazy how when you're around somebody for so long, how y'all be connected. She like, you know, I know she like, I know you struggle with talking about yourself and your accomplishments, you know, like, so, but don't do that this time. Like say who you really are list it out yeah. like whatever because i'll talk about somebody i'll well, give somebody they flowers you started in a moment. you might as well just keep going the first point the nature <laughs> oh. of humility this <laughs> okay. is the first point we talking about the challenges of remaining humble and the first <laughs> point we making is the nature of humility keep continuing yeah. that story so the nature of humility what is like you know it's like i've we come from a real place Right. We come from a real when I say a real place, I ain't even just talking about the city. I'm talking about the environment and yeah. the environment is what there's a lot of those type of environments all across the nation. And I look at it like so, you know. I don't take anything we do as a boast or a brag or like I know exactly what perspective we come from when we do anything that we do, anything yeah. we do. I don't care what it is, bro. Buy a new outfit, buy a car, buy a house. I know our mindset behind it and I know how we yeah. feel behind it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's the nature of humility. We are a humility. Like we have the most humility. We get people to shirt off our back. We're loving, we're caring and everything else. Um, but you know, the environment and maybe, so like I said, some the way you maybe been brought up, I can speak for me at times I've caught myself and people have told me this plenty of times, Greg, you too humble. You know what I'm saying? Like you too, like you'd be a too humble now. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, say that. Tell them what you did. Tell them what you really be doing. You know, because I'd be sitting back quiet. I just let people talk about what they doing. I let people talk about their motion. I let people talk about their professions or pop their stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I sit back because one, I'm confident though. It's not that I'm, it's not that I'm insecure in these rooms. I'm super confident. But as confident as I am. Not only don't I feel the need to talk about who I am and what I do, I really don't even like to talk about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because if <laughs> if I get to telling you everything that I've done, everything that I do, I run a risk of losing you. I run a loose. I run a risk of losing the room that I'm in. You get what I'm saying? Because it kind of be like, do 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 you really? And I'd be like, yeah. Dang, why y'all say that? Like, you know what I'm saying? So today I had one of them humbling experience, like we was talking about the nature of humility, like where Alex already knew the type of approach I was going to take to the situation. Um, but writing my biography and she kind of sent me a note to kind of like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, 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 don't be, don't turn it up a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is something you earned. So let them know exactly who you are. So when they come to making that decision to nominate you into this society, it's 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 no question. You know what I'm saying? There's no question. Cause she know I'll kind of downplay it a little bit because I don't never yeah. really make nobody uncomfortable. And I don't really and a lot of things that I do in my life, I never really done them for the accolades. Yeah. I never done it for I don't keep tallies of everything I've done for the community or everything I've done for anybody in my life. I don't keep score like that. The only time I bring it up is if a person act like I ain't never did it before. And then I really like, then I really get on something, but I really don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't do that. Some stuff people be telling me that, man, you remember you? And I'll be like, oh, I forgot about that. Cause yeah. that's not where my heart is at. It's not like I did it. I didn't have an angle when I did it. So it's like, it don't, it didn't stick with me as much as it may have stuck with somebody else. And it's just, a, it's just a funny thing with like, you can be too humble. And you can have so much humility sometimes to where it can kind of cripple you in a little bit in, in certain ways. You know what I'm saying? But you got to yeah. navigate. And I'm still learning how to navigate on when to turn it up, when to speak on it and how to speak on it and be OK speaking on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I, I think that th this is one of the topics that when we first graduated college or even like on the journey of the progressions of success that we seen throughout college and transitioning into like working full time and the, the, the benefits that we received and the accolades and stuff we started to get. It was, it was almost 
it was always the word of humility coming involved mm-hmm. and for us like because because humility means it doesn't mean humble right no like it, it doesn't it doesn't mean that humility means like if i was a person on the team on the basketball team right and i just score 40 points mm-hmm. clearly i'm the person that probably should be the mvp for the team right but the humility factor comes in when they give me the the microphone and they asking me about my great game personally i get the mic and i say you know although i scored 40 points tonight i couldn't have did it without the help of my teammates doing the things that they did allow me to create avenues for me to score that is the definition of humility because you're not just thinking about yourself. You're you're looking at it from a holistic view and saying, I couldn't have done this without the other four people on this court with me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's humility. But at the same time, what's bundled in there is the humble mentality behind it. Because in that state of mind, you're not going to the podium and speaking about it like, yeah, I'm this. Yeah, I'm a superstar. This team need me. See, that's being humble. That's the difference between being humble and being cocky. Cocky, you're going to get up there and you're going to say, like, the team need you. They can't make it nowhere without you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Those are the two breakdowns between between humility and, and, and being humble. But what I want to say is when we were going through these things, it seemed like humility and being humble were, like, synonymous with each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it was like <laughs> it was yeah. like it was like we make it to this point and we hitting these milestones and our humility is keeping us grounded in the sense where it's saying that we ain't really forgetting where we come from and we using where we come from as a strength to how we got here right so we basically been saying it all along like what we went through and our childhood environments helped us succeed at an all-time high in these new environments. Meaning, anybody who will we from can do the same thing. We've been saying that for the longest. But at the same time, the humbleness comes in because I can't tell you how many countless times we either didn't post something, we had conversations before we was thinking about posting it, they was this is the time when they was putting money stacks up to their ear. We like, man, we can we seeing people count up on 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 Inst- on uh Facebook and stuff like that. We seeing people show chains, cars, and we like, and we sitting over here like talking to each other. We had mm-hmm. conversations even from the steps from like going to Indianapolis, Texas, me and Texas, like all through the like cities. We like, man, we could be really showing this too. And then, then we start thinking like our mamas get uh, talking to us like, no, nah, y'all need to do that. Y'all need to show that. Everybody telling us this, but we can't never show any of our successes, <laughs> our hard work, and it was just draining. Yes. That, then that still that still affects us to this day. Yeah, when it we does. Show certain things, and this is the nature. Okay, so the nature of humility is we try. We've always, always tried to tell people how, you know, how we did things, our direct impact from what we went through as child, right, in, in our childhood. And the thing I want to say about the nature of humility is the importance of it, because there are psychological factors in it and what it does to your confidence and your success. If you're a person that's always looking at the bigger picture of things and trying to explain, like, even though I did a good job in this, there are other people who paved the way for me to be able to do this. And and when you think that way, it just helps you become a better person. It helps you formulate better ideas. And it gets you out of the egotistic mindset of I'm him, right? A lot of times we joke and we say that like I'm him, but like that's because like we we be like it's just one of those things we joke like I'm him, but like that's not really how we are. And that's how you got to be with the nature of humility. You got to really 
give homage to the people who paved the path before you because mm -hmm. they, they're the ones who did it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely, bro. It's 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 really one of them things like so you're absolutely right. Like before I post anything, before I show anything, I think about it like three, four times before I do it. Sometimes I won't yeah. even do it. You know what I'm saying? Even though I've earned it, I won't even do it because I'm like, man, the way the world is and the way certain people around you is and maybe yeah. family members or whoever it is, you be kind of like, man, they're going to take it like I am think I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying <laughs> <That's> to, <laughs> you know, that's the challenge. That's hey, I'm broke. Yeah. It is a challenge. It really, that's the it second really, point. The challenge it, is to humility. It really is a challenge in it, bro, it's because it's like because, you you know, you earn this stuff. and You want to do things. You want to celebrate yourself. And you you know you humble. You know you come from a real life perspective on it and everything. Yeah. Genuine place. But then you like it's a challenge because you worry about what everybody going to think. You might be worried about what your family yep. going to think, your friends going to think, what society going to think, what the Internet going to think, yep. what you, what, whoever going to think about what I earned, what I really put my blood, sweat, and tears into. And if I post it, if I show it, if I brag on it, if I'm too proud of it, somebody going to look at me different. Somebody going to question my motive behind it. Somebody going to say that, man, he, he think he this. He think he that. She thinks she this. She thinks she that. And it's so sad. It's so sad. It really is a challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, how we used to have to talk on the phone, like, bro, we have to do different every stuff. time. Like, talking every about time, like bro. what, why we can't post this? What, like, it, it's so crazy that, and I know people know this. They they feel this. Yeah, everybody's going through this. Yeah, don't don't we, know. <laughs> we got to talk about this, that we kind of, or don't talk about that. But since we talk to each other about it, we feel a little bit of better about it. We have yeah. To, we kind of laugh and joke with each other to make our to celebrate each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like, yeah. yeah. Like me and you don't talked about certain money situations. We don't talked about certain contracts and different stuff. So we like we geek each other up. Yeah. And we hype about each other because we know it's genuine. Or you know what I'm saying? But like if we know if we post that or talk to the wrong person about it, it may change the completely, it may change the look on how we the outlook on it. it energy just gonna be different. Put it that like way. The energy said. gonna be different. Like you said, some people can they they have derailed this word of not being humble, like this phrase. This phrase. You're, all of a sudden, you're not humble because you decided to post something of your success that you earned. Of, of, that you earned. Floyd Mayweather is a perfect example of this. They do huh. this all the time. They call that man. He's saying he's not humble. Sweet. Look, <laughs> what I'm, 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 I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this because that word bothers me a lot because I. Re I don't know if I got PTSD from the word humble or what, however you want to. It's a lot of categories. People put a lot of words in. So I may be a little off at times. Right? You got to work with me. I'm not used to using certain words. I'm not used to using words like anxiety. I'm not used to using words like, you know what I'm saying? Like PTSD and yeah. trauma and all that. I didn't really grow up using them words. Right. So I'm to this day, I'm learning how to sort out feelings and categorize things. But what I will say is I definitely feel some type of way with stuff like that. How dare you say I'm not humble or that person is not humble. If they bust their butts to do something for themselves, they literally, you know, that they, 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 they didn't cheat. They, whatever it is, they burn, bust their butt for it. They earned it and they're happy for that. Yeah. And they want to show that and showcase that. They want to show it. So they're not happy. They're not humble because of that. No, 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 no. That's that's bro. People say that because they want you to they stop want you to dim your light because you make them too much. Yeah, to, to make, make them comfortable, comfortable. Yep. because they're not doing nothing. Yep. Like we said, people that got motion going on don't tell each other all day long. Be humble. Be humble. Be yeah, humble. Yeah, they humble, don't be say humble. that. It's the people that's talking to the people that ain't doing nothing that keep getting them type of talks because what you doing is really making them uncomfortable. Yeah. Where you going is really like, dang, I ain't think yeah. that I was really could make it there, but you doing it. So be yeah. humble, though. Everybody not able. Be humble. Everybody is able. Everybody is able. Don't say everybody ain't able. Everybody, everybody is, able. is able. Everybody <laughs> is they, able. Yeah. You know? Don't talk to me about everybody. I go. I can go to my gym in the morning, and it's a lady that work out every day on a walker. It's another man that scoot himself around the indoor track in a wheelchair. 
Don't talk to me about what everybody not able to do. And these are people, elders, that get up every single day. Every day. And she walk, this lady, bro, she like an older Indian lady. She get up and scoop herself on that. All Every day she get up and do the same thing. So what you think when I sit there in my house and I be like, man, everybody ain't able, man. I'm tired today. I done had a long day. Like, come on, man. Stop saying that everybody not able. Everybody get 24 hours in a day. What you do with them wow. is on you. We've, we've, we've really abused that be humble thing. Um, this is what I look like. Okay, so this is what I think when we talk about the challenges of humility, we talk about being humble. If somebody's not being humble, it may look something like this to me. So if we talk about somebody popping their stuff, I say if you like, look at me, um, I got this amount of money and ain't nobody gonna get this type of amount of money. And if you don't got, and if you don't got this type of money, you ain't nothing in this world. You ain't nothing if you ain't got a meal in the bank. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. You ain't not, like that's somebody that's not humble. Yeah, yeah. Now you talking crazy. Now you talking crazy. Telling somebody they ain't nothing because they ain't got what you got and they ain't whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, okay. Now you're not humble. That's not humble to me. But if I see somebody like, yes, I got up every morning at 4 a.m. Uh, and I did this and I did that and I sacrificed this and I sacrificed that and I sacrificed this and I earned this and this is where I'm at today because of that. That person is very humble to me. That person is very motivating to me, bro. Like, I don't see nothing wrong in that. No. Because everybody not going to get up at 4 a.m. Everybody's not going to dedicate themselves in the way and put the work in that that person put in. So how you not humble just because I don't want to hear the work that you put in that I wasn't willing to put in? That's crazy. That's crazy. I got to get like you then. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can't get mad at you for what you done, the work you done put in that I, I'm not willing to put in. That's crazy. This is a, this is a very egotistical society and you get it from both both sides of the coin where you have a person that has a strong ego who when they obtain these different successes in life they use almost use those successes as as like tools to weaponize people with so if i get a million dollars then i'll say you're not allowed in the certain spaces that I that I attend because you can't afford to do this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. do those type of things. But then there are other people who with the, with the, the ego mindset where it's toned down. And even if they do get that million dollars, they're going to still be in that same that that category where they're like, yeah, I have this money. But, you know, I'm OK with going to Walmart still. I'm OK with going over here over here still i'm okay like i don't feel out of body because i'm going to these places where the 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 stigma is people who shop at walmart don't have no money you see what i'm saying <laughs> yeah and and that's that's what i'm saying when you start to get money you start to get success the challenges you're going to really get challenges on your humility on your on your ability to be humble Look, and this I'm is one of the things that that we we deal with a lot right now in society with social media because of Instagram. Every every there's no Instagram account out there that's that's your Instagram account is supposed to be lit. It's supposed to show like it's supposed to your light's supposed to be shining. I don't know nobody Instagram accounts that's just like man. See what I'm saying? I don't know that. So that's what we live in, bro. I just thought about something else. We talk about the challenges of humility. Let's look at it from the person that's like we talking about people like us, people that actually come from a real perspective and we know who we are, even if people take us wrong. The challenge is, and I think a lot of people can face it when they think about the challenges of humility is it also can be a factor of what you go through in life. So you may start off a very humble, understanding person with a uh exceptional amount of load of uh humility but maybe somebody done done something cold to you somebody done done you wrong to where now you done kind of you know what i mean done develop some of their traits yeah um you know I, i'm gonna bring one example and then i'm gonna clean it up with something else that just hit me in the head i remember when i was in my motorcycle accident and we talk about like coworkers. 
Yeah, uh, I know about this. <laughs> there were people that wanted to come to my house. There were yeah. people that sent uh, their almost condolences. I guess I wasn't dead, but close to it. But yeah, you know, heart prayers, heartfelt prayers, and everything. You know, I remember the one person that didn't. Yeah, that's the thing. I remember the one person that didn't. Um, and I felt like they really lack humility because, you know, how, how, you know, you know, like we on the same type of team. Um, uh, we coworkers, peers, we around each other morning around our families. And you know, everybody on the team done reached out to us, to me. And you know exactly what I'm dealing with. Yeah. And you ain't reach out. Um, you, you, that's that that'll never go forgotten. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like, dang, dude, I almost died. You couldn't even send me a fake one, not even a fake one, not even a prayers. You couldn't even send the prayer hands. You couldn't even just, you know what I'm saying? Like, you lack humility. But here's the thing, and it kind of go back to what we talked about. Uh, well, one of my my IOU moment the last time we was on talking about, you know, matching energy and not giving people energy. Yeah. I remember Alex told me like a couple years back, a few years back now, she was like, no matter how people do you, your heart hasn't changed. Mm. And she like commended me for that. Mm. Like, how? Because, you know, we talk to our women. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? They know, like, you know what I'm saying? They know stuff. So she's like, no matter how people done done you, your heart hasn't changed. Um, yep. And that's kept me grounded in certain. Now, now, no cap. You do got to make certain adjustments depending on how people do you. Now, you can't just let people keep doing you the same kind of way. But what I mean, what I'm saying that is. I didn't adopt certain people's traits because they did that to me, because then that right. wouldn't be me. Right. You get what I'm saying? That wouldn't be me. All I right. mean, it. Now, I may create distance between me and those individuals or that person or let that bridge stay burned. But for me to be like, adopt that and be like, lack that humility, like I have a lot of humility. So now because people have ex exhibited to me that yep. they don't have humility. So then now I'm going to be like that and think that's getting even or showing the world something. No, that's me turning into them. And that's not me. I just don't need to be around you as a person, whoever that person is. You get what I'm saying? Don't adopt yeah. people's traits. And let it change you. Just be careful on who you show that type of love, humility to. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and if they don't appreciate it, then you just need distance from those type of people. So it is a challenge, bro. It's Big definitely challenge. a challenge. It's a challenge to remain in that mind state when maybe people haven't haven't exhibited that towards you. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I had on that for sure, bro. The challenge is yeah. And it, and even it, like I said, even in, in this society where you're constantly pressured to look better than the other person, mm -hmm. you don't want to be the person that that look like they don't have something going. It'd be simple things like you know when we go camping and mm. somebody got their golf cart out there, right? I'll be seeing these people out there. One person, oh, I seen the craziest thing, man, just recently when we went, when we went camping. I seen some last weekend too. Listen, go dog, ahead, you go listen. first. You go first. Dog. Okay, you it's it's levels, right? You have the regular golf cart out there, right? So for everybody who will know on a campsite, when you go there, people used to like just ride bikes, right? But if the campsite <laughs> is too too big, I guess they they ride golf carts now, right? Mm -hmm. And I understand that because, like, for me, young family, little kids, they, like, really can't walk that far. So, like, for them getting cranky. So, you need a golf cart. But if a simple golf cart, like the one you get in when you drive in the apartment complex, you're looking for an apartment that you're going to rent, like, just a little basic one. But then it's another level where the golf cart is lifted. It's got, mm -hmm. got wheels Rim. and tires. like Music, rims, light. Music, lights, every the whole shebang, right? <laughs> I thought that was it, right? Until I went camping just recently, dog. And it's like everybody is trying to like, you know, you play that game. It's like, <laughs> like that's that's what people are doing. Yeah, so they had they had like vehicles out there, like big big ranger like like hunting type carts, like the exactly. big ones. Like you they got about side by side. 
the side by sides with the, I the seen can everything, side, all that, the yes, can -Am, the all of that. Like it's got doors, like it's a baby Jeep. Yes, like you can take the doors about. off, everything. With the speakers with the speakers, speakers hanging from they the got big like Yeti this. coolers in the back. I mean, I know, it's I know a exactly car. What you're talking about. I know exactly. It's a car, what you're dog. About. Like, I know exactly. and I'm like, man, like the challenges of just trying to. You always got to look sharper than the other one. You always got to, like, that's why they always say love yours. Like, there's always going to be something better than what you got or something better than what you have, who you are, what job you have. There's going to be something better. It doesn't matter what it is. There's going to be something better every time. So this is the challenge that we face with this because we can never – it's hard for us to be humble because – we have this generational thing where I can't be humble because I got to show what I got, which is I'm showing I got something better than this person. I got the new Jays, the new, new Jays that just came out, just like Tesla right, right now with that cyber truck. All the rappers and stuff like everybody and mama got that cyber dude. truck. Everybody know, got the cyber truck. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know, like, ain't it a ton of recalls on that thing? Listen, like, dude, it's listen, crazy. Man, people, I'm gonna tell y'all, stop doing that. You got. When it's it's called beta testing. Stop stop being the first person to do stuff like that with technology. You're the beta tester, like you're the crash dummy. <laughs> dummy. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You're the hey, crash they ain't gonna dummy. like it, but that's the truth. Stop doing that. You don't have to be like stop trying to one up people. Like we just we just as a society, man, it's hard for us to be just stay humble. And I think that you know, catch a come up, gotta keep it on the low. That you know, fifty, you know, he, he does it all the time. Like you don't have to show things, you don't have to show every single thing. You can pop out a little bit, but like I'm telling you, man, build your build your character up and just be just just keep it understood that there is a challenge there, and there are strategies to cultivate your humility and keep your your humbleness in check. Right, that's the third point. <laughs> there are strategies for this, right? And one of the strategies I think is out there that you, you really have to tone into is finding you a person that can get on the same level as you, as you and understands what you're going through so y'all can bounce ideas off of each other, which is what me and you do a yeah. lot. And we've been yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. And I think that one of the things that we always talk about is learning from like past experiences, experiences and, and the setbacks. So <clears throat> let's take, for example, like, you know, like I had the when we had first did some episodes about the chains I wear out and I said that the type of energy it brings, the people I attract, when I talk to different business people, they don't want to talk to me no more because they think I'm a thug, whatever. Yeah. And you start to understand that, you know. I want to show my chains. I want to show my success. I want to show what I did. But like you understand from the, the, the past experiences that you can learn from the situations and you can understand how to move forward afterwards. And you can kind of like pick and choose when to do stuff and when not to do stuff. So what I'm saying here is that you will have to understand based on your past experiences, when is a good time to post what you think you from the post? When is a good time to actually do you think it's OK for you to put a stack up to your ear and put it on the Internet? Because now you see what's happening to certain rappers out there where they post in a location or posting something else trying to stunt and they come get robbed or whatever you want to say. Right. So I think that you have to first get you someone you can talk to that you can bounce ideas off of and they going to have give you a different perspective on what you should and shouldn't be doing. What's going to be more riskier than the other, you know? Yeah, and I say this. Look, I want people to listen in, like, really tap into this. Like, we're not saying, like, you can't be happy for what you got going on. We're not saying that. But yeah. you got to pick the right people. If you find one person that you know genuinely understands why you are and they understand what your why is. Yeah. For you know what I mean, then you good, because I promise you, we living in a strange time. You really can't worry about what everybody think about you because you'll drive yourself nuts. Crazy. But if I got at least one person, you know what I'm saying, like 
if you got at least one person that genuinely understands your your why behind how you are, what you're doing, why you're doing that, and this, that, and the third, skip yeah. everybody else, man. We can sit here and try to tell you all this, tell you all that. You can read this, read that, YouTube this, that, that. You can read. People going to treat you how they're going to treat you. We live in a very weird time, and you're not going to make everybody happy. Point blank, period, bottom line. You know what I'm saying? To make somebody happy, you're going to have to piece somebody else off. That's just the factors of life. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? So when I think about, like you said, the strategies of cultivating humility, it's just like what you said. It's because I have a few people that I genuinely know. They know my motives. They know my heart. They know my my meaning behind. They know they understand the journey. So when I do certain things or I may, you know, and what most people don't understand is like, yes, I'm like, I mean, I would. I've made some purchases on some things, right? Yeah. But guess what? I do for me last. Yeah. I do for me last. Yeah. Um, you may tell me every time, like, Greg, stop being cheap, bro. Stop being cheap. Like, because you know me sometime, I will be like, like, and you be like, man, that happened to you because you being cheap. I know you. I know you. Yeah. You you did that. And that's why you ended up in that situation. You said, so, you know, I teeter between being cheap and being frugal, but I have very I have nice things like everybody else. And when I really want something, I go get it. Yeah. Um and 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 the people, I don't know, man. I've fallen victim of it, bro. I've fallen victim of not posting. I've fallen victim of not telling people. I've fallen victim yeah. of not celebrating the stuff that I've earned. Um, uh, but you know, growing up. You know, at 35 years old at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've got to the point to where as long as I got to cut my key players on my team, know my most they happy for me, and they understand what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we call each other and we show something, we like, we, it's, it's, some people may say that's corny. We be geeked up to see each other do something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, travel, experience something provide something for your family do something like that because i remember when we didn't have none of this i remember we yep. didn't have you know what i'm saying <laughs> like yeah like no 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 i ain't gonna cap like we was dirt poor like we was just like living on the streets no 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 because that'd be disrespectful to our parents but yeah, to our parents yeah but but did we have with with a lot of people had in the world nah but we had the oh. things we needed though we had the things we had everything we, had we needed we had everything yeah. we needed. Now, what you wanted was that was a stretch. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is a lot of the stuff that we've gotten and we've done, we've talked our way through this. We've challenged each other through this. We've motivated each other through this. So, you know, it's very strategic. You understand what I'm saying? And half of it is goes back to what we always talk about in almost every episode is your power circle. Yeah, your power circle. You understand what I mean? I'm going to surround myself around good people. I'm going to surround myself around loving people. I'm going to surround myself around positive people. I'm going to surround myself around people that want to see me smile and I want to see them smile. We're enjoying each other's company. Yep. I'm happy when they walk through the room. I'm happy when they come through the door. I don't like coming around bad people. I don't surround myself around bad people. I don't hate on people. I don't like talking smack about people. I don't want you around me if we don't enjoy each other's company. I don't want to be around you if there's tension in the room. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your power circle goes back to what we said is it will help you strategize and cultivate humility. It all ties together with what you're surrounding yourself around, who you're surrounding yourself around, the mindset you have around each other. How are you feeding in the people in the rooms? How are y'all feeding off each other? And look, you get what I'm saying? Go ahead. And look, this is the thing about it. When you get around your power, your power circle, in order to in order to understand the strategies for cultivating humility and being humble. Again, all of this is around being humble, like staying grounded. Now, when you have that power circle, don't mess it up. Mm. Don't be the one who mess up, who shoot yourself in the foot. All right. You got the circle around you. Good people. Right. Don't get yourself kicked out. Here's what you got to do. You have to be aware of yourself. You have to know your strengths. You have to know your weaknesses. You have to know your limitations. 
A lot of people get that confused. Know yourself. If you in a room full of these people who power circle and they may be smarter than you, don't be in that room talking over everybody, acting like you're the smartest. You're going <laughs> to mm -hmm. get kicked out. They're going to walk you out. Okay? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Be open-minded. Listen. That's why we always say, listen more than you speaking. Listen. Yeah. When, when you in the... Now, listen. There's two things here. We said, listen more than you speak when you're trying to learn things from people. We also said talk more, listen less, listen less when it comes to yourself. Cause mm -hmm. that's you pumping yourself up. So don't get those confused. When you're in this power circle, you have to be a good listener. You have to listen to what they're saying, take it in, be a sponge, learn from it. That's how you get to understand your li you understand your limitations and you're able to push your limitations further because now you've learned more, right? The other thing I want to say about this is be grateful. Be grateful in what you have, what you come in contact with, and serve others. That's one big thing about humility and being humble. I don't care if you got $2 million. Serve others. Serve at all times. And Man. people forget about this. People do. <laughs> These are people the do. strategies. When you build this foundation of serving people, like just being modest, like I remember I told you the other story last time about like I bumped somebody in the club and I spilled their drink and I was like, hey man, I'm sorry about that. Let me let me get you another one. Right. Life, that's I'm that's being modest. Drink. That's yes, being sir. that's humility. You know what I'm saying? You have mm -hmm. to do these things, serving others, being modest, being open to feedback, listening more. That's what you have to do. These are the strategies to cultivate humility. And at the end of the day, this is what'll keep you grounded and keep you humble. It will. It, it really will. Um, we've talked about it a million times. Like, people, but that come with pride and understanding and growth and everything, man. Like, the bumping the people in the club stuff, like, and doing stuff, or just anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Look, look at us. I remember we was in Vegas last June. You remember we had that section. We went out. Rest of the guys wasn't on nothing. We went out. We got a section. Yeah. And we seen we seen a young boy with his girl. It was just me and you in the section. Remember that? Young yeah. boy and his girl was in there. And they ain't had no section, really. And, you know, the bouncers was on that type of time. Like, hey, you want me to get them out of here? Want me to get them out of yeah, here? Yeah, they kept telling us that. Yeah. yeah, like, we can get them out of here. We can get them out of here if you want us to yeah. get out of here. Y'all want us to get them out of here? And we like, I watched the situation. I said, no, 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 hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm like, nah, they ain't. we got more space than what we need. Exactly. More liquor in the section than we could even think about drinking. Join us. Join, and they're not bothering us. You know what I'm saying? So you see, I reached over. I said, hey, bro, you and your lady enjoy yourselves. Help yourselves. they like, for real? I say, no, for real, for real. No, no funny yeah. stuff. Like, go ahead. Enjoy yourself. This this more than enough. More than enough room. Everything. Not, they wasn't all in the pictures with us trying to be all on our phones and stuff. Yeah. It literally was more than enough room alcohol and enjoyment and whatever else they didn't bother us but i'm saying that's that's that humility do you understand what i'm saying like that's the stuff that people don't even understand i hate even not even hate but this is stuff we don't even talk about you know what i'm saying it's it's we do this things ain't on the world we live in right now it's about yeah. one up you up the skull yeah like i ain't <laughs> putting that on the gram i'm not gonna put that on snap like yeah yeah, look at Buddy and his girl in our section. Yeah, look at what I just we doing bought for this for them. Um, yeah, we, you crazy? Man, we, man, come on, man. We're not on that type of time. I'm not. I'm definitely never on that type of time because um, you was them. I, we was them, Boy. and I never. And, and I could have been them. And guess what? The way life really works, you could be still. them again. You can you still, still be them. You can still be them. Yep. So be careful. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, don't let it change who your heart is and how you at. And on my level, I show love. Um, Because I understand how life works. I understand how the universe works, bro. You could be up. You could be down. You could be left. You can be right. It could be your time. You can Anytime. Be Anytime. A lot of people you see, y'all, we say, we talk about humility. It's a lot of people we walk past every day. We see poor. We see homeless. We see disenfranchised. We see struggling. They didn't have no plan on that. Things happen in life. They had the same dreams that the rest of us have. Some of them want to be doctors. Some of them wanted to be lawyers. Some, Some of them was in better positions than we were. 
Yeah. They had ever been. And they just hit rock bottom. Went rock bottom. Maybe fell to alcoholism. Maybe fell a victim of drugs. Maybe depression. Anything. Maybe. Man. Maybe, maybe maybe that guy got divorced and his wife got everything. Lost the whole family, everything. Yeah, everything. He lost his wife, his kids, his money, his everything. And he's just down in the dumps. Maybe that woman got the wrong guy and he beat on her, took her all her worldly possessions and you know what I'm saying? Pimped her out. Did something People getting uh, abused, raped, all type of stuff. Type of you... stuff. I'm telling you, it's that level of humility. I don't, I'm careful. Listen, I grew up a real class clown, a real, as, as serious as that conversations as I have a lot. I am probably one of the most silliest people you probably could ever meet. Like, <laughs> like I, I, I'm, I'm a real deal jokester. And I know people are like, no, I don't see it, bro. But you got to know me to know me. Like, I'm really a clown, like a bad clown. Nibanisca, whatever. Bro, we make man, that's a whole nother story, bro. We made them quit. We make teachers and them quit and all that. But what I'm saying Y'all is... did. I did. <laughs> Y'all did. <laughs> Take that hat off, boy. You cap boy. Y'all did. Hey, that's your story, and I ain't gonna expose my brother. Y'all did. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. So what I'm saying is this, because I ain't going to keep exposing him, but what I'm saying is this. <laughs> no matter what that is, and like I said, I find a lot of stuff funny that ain't funny or whatever else, but I also have a higher level of humility and understanding on just how life works. Um, and, yeah, you can lose your – we talked about a lot of key points today. Um, and we're going to get into some more, but we talked about some things. And, the you know, nature of humility. The nature of humility. Then we talked about – you know, the challenge of humility with that. And then we cleaned it up with the, the strategizing cultivation of humility. And it's it's some stuff that we've most mostly everything we talk about, y'all, is something that we deal with every day and that we're working on. We're working progress just like everybody else. Do we get it right every time? No. I know I don't. I don't get it right every time. But my intentions are well and in every situation I'm in. I am at that point in my life where my intentions are well with every situation that I'm in. Now, would people take me out of that or think situations take me out of that? Of course. Um, but um, no matter what I have, and it's kind of based off your IOU moment, kind of based off your IOU moment, is no matter what I have, no matter what I obtain, um, I'm always going to have some sense of humility because that's who I am, bro. And no matter how people do me, I'm still going to have that mindset. Um, and you know, I may just, if the, if I feel like it's, it's changing me, then I may need to change my circle. I may change my environment and I may, you know, just the overall people around me, but I won't let it change me. I'll just be careful on who I give that to love, humility, understanding and things like that. So. Yes. Key takeaway. This is the key takeaway for this topic here. On your journey, you will have good moments and opportunities to improve. Within either of the two states, remain level. In other words, don't get cocky, yet don't dim your light. And I changed that last part right there because it's just like that. Don't get cocky, but don't dim your light. Like we said, People keep talking this humbleness, this, you, oh, he ain't humble, he ain't humble. Don't let somebody confuse you with dimming, get, get, confuse you to the point where you start dimming your light. There's a difference. You ain't, you ain't got to be out there cocky about, about the things you're doing and this and that. But at the same time, don't dim your light. Keep it bright. Shine. You're supposed to shine. You're supposed to help others. And the way you shine and, and, and the way you keep your light bright is you helping others. There's a way to show what you got, but also help others like we're doing right now with this podcast. We're able to talk about our successes. Right. But we're talking about it in the sense where we're helping others hopefully reach these heights as well. That's how you do it. That's that's motivating. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, I really like the last part of it, to be honest. Like you said, don't get cocky. Don't. Dim, but, uh, you know, yeah, don't damn your light. Um, because there's a fine line. People take what you say when you you've earned something. You talking about it is cocky. Um, but 
I mean, when you bust your butt, you deserve to talk about it um, in a sense to where you're not dummying yourself down to make somebody else comfortable. So be careful with that, child. Um, then, make the, then maybe that's not the room you should be in. Maybe that's not the people you should be around um, because, you know, if you can't talk about it around the people you are around the most, then who are you going to talk about it around? You get what I'm saying? Like, we should turn each other up when we get to talking about that. Hey, I just made a play. Hey, let's go, baby. Like, we yeah. should be geeked up. Like, not like, mm, mm, Yeah. look at him. He done, he done, uh, let me guess, you done did something else. You done, you done, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, y'all get it. Oh, get away man. from, get, get away from them. If they not showing their teeth, when you mention your good news, they're not happy for you. Yeah. And know the difference between a fake smile and a real smile. You know what I'm talking about. That genuine, like, happiness, yeah. they ain't happy for you. If they making little noises and grunts and, like, mm, okay. And all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Damn. Okay. I ain't going to tell you more no good, no more good news because I see how, I see how you coming. You ain't happy for your boy. So. Action got? item. Mm-hmm. Think about how you portray yourself to others at this time in your life. Again, think about how you portray yourself to others at this time in your life. Are you consistently altering your financial plans, your lifestyle to look better than others? Again, Instagram. <laughs> what you posting out? It's really social media. What you posting out there? How you how you looking? You flexing all day? You stunting? When you in the club? You buying sections, you paying three, four hundred percent for them bottles to put park to put uh sparkles in the sky just so that so somebody can see them coming to your table and the girls over there like <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know, you say you pay yeah hundred dollars for fifty dollar bottles at the store, you gonna keep <laughs> doing that just yeah. to stunt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You be cracking up. <laughs> the girls be looking miserable in a mug. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> you just gonna keep doing that. You go. You want to stand on some tables? You want to do it? It's fine to do that every now and then. Like we said, celebrate yourself. But like, you can't. That can't be the lifestyle. Nah, we're not doing because, that every Friday night. Again, that can't be it. You see what I'm saying? Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses. Love yours. You know what I'm saying? You got it. This is how this is how you remain humble. This is how you may how you remain grounded. This is how you understand humility. We're not saying that you shouldn't pop your you know what, but like you don't have to do it all the time. Every once in a while, man. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. And, and before we close out, man, like. Y'all, we love to have a good time. Y'all done heard me say this. When I say I'm gonna keep saying that because I'm I'm right now as we talking, I'm thinking about my next good time. Before we started recording this episode, we was talking about potentially having a good time. So the good time is yeah. always on the table. Make yeah. no mistake about it. We've been in the sections, we popped the bottles, whatever, but I do not do that every weekend. Um, I don't see the need of it. Um I don't hang in strip clubs. I don't do that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, will I go? Have I been? Yeah. But we got to have a reason. I'm not just going because it's a Tuesday. <laughs> That's just me personally. You know what I'm saying? On a Tuesday. I'm not going in there like that. I don't like being. I, no, I'm good. I'm good. I never really like strip clubs, bro. I just never. First, <laughs> Fried chicken is good in there. The chicken always banging in the strip clubs. That's the crazy part. Fried chicken. Yeah, that's the I was talking to Adrian Peterson about that. Bro, the strip clubs, the chicken is always the best. But what I'm saying is, like, I just, I don't like the concept. It's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's fake to me. Like, it's like you, you tell me this, you tell me that, you lying, you like, it's just, I don't know, I don't like to get teased, and I'm definitely ain't paying to play. It's a whole another, it's a whole lot with that. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of, whole lot of which kind of go against my confidence because I feel like I'm different, like with certain stuff. So teach your song, but yeah, be careful, man. Yeah, be careful, man. Like this, what you doing and how you moving with the situation. So, um, I mean, ultimately, all I got to say before we close out is, um, know the definition of being humble. Um, understand how to navigate for real with humility. Come from a real place and a real perspective, because we all humans, y'all. We gonna make mistakes, and we got highs and lows in life. 
So be careful how you navigate it because it may be your time today and somebody else's time tomorrow. So, um, you know, your, 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 your circle is very key and valuable to, and everything else. So um, this was a good conversation tonight, man. I look forward to it, bro. Is because because this is something that we hear all the time, especially in our community. We hear people be humble, be humble, be humble, be humble, be humble, be humble, be humble. But people really don't dive into the be humble. People don't really talk about humility, how to love, how to like, how to coexist, how to understand. You know what I'm saying? They really we don't really talk about that stuff. So, um, but without further ado, man, y'all, this was our Your Redemption podcast. Um, and you know, make sure you continue to tap in. Make sure you continue to tune into the live sessions when you bring your questions and get them answered. Or we just have a good old family conversation, which we really enjoy. The last few live sessions we've had, we've been able to laugh, joke, kind of loosen up a little bit. Um, you know, the, the, the pre-records, the, the, the recorded episodes, they, they're more structured. This is a more structured type of conversation. If you want to have a looser conversation with us, not belligerent and too crazy, but just a looser conversation, come on to the live stream. If you got a bright idea, something you want us to talk about, hit us up. If you know us personally, send it to the email address because we like to talk about it. And guess what? If we don't really know about it, we're not going to speak on it. But I guarantee we know somebody that knows somebody that do. And we may bring that person on. You never know. It's all about growth and it's all about figuring this thing out together, y'all. So. Without further ado, man, we're going to let y'all get on up out of here, man. This is our You Redemption podcast, man. It's your boy G. White. Big speaker. Hey, we out. <laughs>